I, uh, what did they find yesterday? Uh, this cord marked pottery they found, uh, uh, they found in uh, uh, Itbayat. Okay. Uh, I say quite possibly this got there directly from, uh, uh, from the mainland. Uh, it didn't come from either Taiwan or Luzon. It came there and went both ways from there. I see no reason at all why there wasn't direct contact between uh, the coast of uh, northern Vietnam uh, and southern China uh, out to the Batanes Islands. As the currents are right uh, as they are for northern Luzon, but not for southern Luzon, in that the uh, currents along there are going north, but they would uh, you could get get there from uh, Taiwan or, or from the mainland, get into that current, come on in the north, uh, hit uh, uh, the Batanis Islands long before they, they got up to Taiwan itself. Uh, nobody else seems to have thought much about this as to why there wasn't direct contact between the Batanis and, and the mainland of Southeast Asia. Uh, it seems to me quite logical there would have been, but uh, the the dating would be so little different that uh, you'd have to have a whole series of carbon-14 dates that would be less than a 10-year spread practically to say which, which is earlier. So uh, it's unlikely for some time in the future at least to uh, say one way or the other whether anything came directly from the mainland to, to Bataan first uh, and then spread from there. But, I see no reason why not. I mean, it's it's right there, <laughs> and they uh, Peter says they got there from the north. Uh, I say they got there from the south. They got there, uh, whether it was from the mainland, north or south, or all three of them. Uh, and this this is one of many nice little puzzles still to, to work out. It's nice to have puzzles. If you didn't have puzzles, uh, it would be very boring. 